Mainers have always looked to the ocean as a source of work and recreation. All right, guys, stand by your four lips. For Samantha Kramer, these waters are providing an education. The 18-year-old is a native of central Alaska. She says her life changed when she enrolled in the ocean classroom. I got on in St. Thomas, Virgin Islands, yes, Virgin Islands. It was definitely different. I almost fell over a few times just because I wasn't used to the rocking of the ship. After four months at sea, she was hooked. The community that you are with and then the different groups of people that we have that come on board, just a total diversity, it's awesome. And she is now a crew member, passing on the skills of sailing. We jive so that the main sheet and the topsail up there swung around and they caught the wind. There are no desks at this school. Classrooms are made up of a small fleet of 125-foot schooners. Aboard the Spirit of Massachusetts, the Harvey Gamage, and the Westward, students like Ryan Peters learn by doing. Sleeping was a lot different. I've never slept on a moving boat so, before. Sally Lloyd. Especially when you almost roll out of bed every night. This group includes 50 budding sailors who signed up for a 70-hour sail from New London, Connecticut to Booth Bay Harbor. The port the Ocean Classroom Foundation will now call home. We thought we'd be knocking on doors and trying to explain who we were and trying to get a, a foot in a community and to have them come to us and say, we really like what you do, that, uh, that really started the ball rolling. And residents of Booth Bay Harbor are also excited. In fact, the amateur sailors say they can't wait to go again. A sailing class on a classic boat, um, out of sight of land. There's something magical about it that just gets you when you're on board and you just can't get enough of it. Alex Thorne, the president of the Ocean Classroom, says that interest in sailing is the reason they chose this harbor as their home.